rte.ie. So in less than a week, this country will witness for the first time in our history the election of a third Taoiseach, Simon Harris, in a single dull term. But should we instead be holding a general election? Well, that is the demand of opposition parties led by Sinn Féin. And to debate this, I'm joined now by Minister of State at the Department of Finance, Jennifer Carroll McNeil, and by Sinn Féin TD for Cavan Monaghan, Matt Carthy. And you're both welcome to the programme. So, Matt Carthy, your party has said from the moment Leo Varadkar resigned that it's time for an election, that it's time for change. Will you explain to me how you've come to that conclusion? Conclusion, because the electorate did vote the last time on the understanding that the term, as it always is for this government, was five years. Well, it always is, but it's often not, as you know, Claire. And if we take, for example, in the previous term of government, we heard throughout while Fianna Fáil were propping up Fianna Gael in a then confidence and supply um, arrangement, the uh, repeated mantra that the term was for five years. But in fact, it wasn't for five years. An election was called. It was called because a certain minister, Simon Harris, was set to lose a confidence vote because the Dáil had indicated through Fianna Fáil primarily at that stage that his record in health was so disastrous that he couldn't be supported in that role. Now, it appears that their intent on elevating the same minister to Taoiseach next week. Remember, in that election, Fine Gael actually came third. I believe that there is an imperative now to allow the people to pass their judgment on Fine Gael's record in government. And if Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, the Greens or those independents um, that intend to support the nomination of Simon Harris are so confident that this is what the people want, then they should at the very least have the guts to put it to mm. the people in a general election. OK, well, Jennifer Carroll McNeil, let's get your take on that. I mean, the Taoiseach has walked off the pitch. We have a third of your TDs now who aren't seeking re-election. On this show yesterday, Simon Coveney insisted he was full of energy, but he doesn't want to serve at Cabinet in the next iteration. Like It's fairly hard to shake the perception, at least, that Fine Gael is running out of energy now. I don't think so at all. Fine Gael, as Fianna Fáil and the Green Party, are full of energy, full of new people who want to contest local elections, European elections, the general election, full of people who are totally committed to public service, who want to serve in government at every level, who want to work in Oireachtas committees, who want to continue their hard work in the Oireachtas. We have a stable democratic system that has served us well. We're one of the oldest democracies in the world. And even when there was a minority government, a confidence and supply government, as Matt Carty alluded to, it survived four years working really well in a democratic way. McCarthy's party, on the other hand, will tear down the, in the Northern Ireland institutions at a whim and then demand that they be re- reinstated at the same whim. It is an utterly undemocratic party. Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil and the Green Party elect their leaders, they have open contests and they're totally committed to democracy. The people elect the members of the Oireachtas, the members of the Oireachtas elect the Taoiseach. The stability of our democratic system is one of the things that has served us so well. The stability of the democratic system within the European Union and it's Fine Gael that is at the centre of that. It's Fianna Fáil, the Green Party, that are at the centre of that. Sinn Féin is not only a slightly democratic party, if that, but it's one that can't even commit to the, the Northern Ireland institutions over the last four years. It took Simon Coveney's hard work to bring those institutions back after Sinn Féin pulled them down. Sinn Féin can't respect the journalists in, in, the, in the Irish democracy. It, you know, we have seen this sort of slightly constitutional, slightly democratic position from Sinn Féin again and again. It's up to the people of Ireland to have an election in the local and European elections in May and June, at the, at the beginning of June and a general election within 12 months. Okay, McCarthy, how do you respond to that, that accusation that Sinn Féin is a slightly democratic party? Well, clearly Jennifer's making our on-air pitch for a cabinet position and fair enough, but what I would contend is if she were so democratic and if she was so entrusted in the people and the democratic process, then she and her colleagues would have the guts to actually go to the people. It's clear to me, it's clear to everybody I speak to that the very large, overwhelming sense I have is that Fine Gael have been in government for too long. It's time for change. It's not time for more of the same, which, let's face it, is what we will get with Simon. Harris. He sat at the cabinet table for the best part of a decade. He has overseen and been part of the government that have watched as housing crisis has got worse, rents skyrocketing. We have the highest um, house prices in the history of the state, record homelessness levels that are only increasing. And yet he has been elected as leader of Fine Gael for about a week and a half. And he has said literally zero 
on housing and on the housing crisis. So this is cl- clearly, to me, an attempt by Fine Gael to stay in government for as long as they can because they know that when they go to the people, the people will pass a very harsh judgment. Jennifer? The stability, the stability of our democratic system is one of the things that has m- enabled us to really compete as a small open economy. Fine Gael will go to the government, will go to the people at the right time as a, a, in, in a predictable, stable way. And when we do, we will go on our record, which, notwithstanding the challenges that we like every other Western country face, that we will go to our record as one of the only countries that has been able to turn around a budget deficit to a budget surplus in Europe in the way that we have, that has been able to deliver jobs for people, really good, high quality jobs for people in Ireland, stable jobs that they can choose to work at high value jobs here, that we have been able to create the longest life expectancy in Europe, that we have an education system that has 15 year olds reading at the second best level in the whole world. There is so much that's positive and really strong about Ireland and when you all you have to do is step outside it to realise how well we are viewed but what we have to do is deliver for people here okay. in every way and spread the develop spread that spread the, the equity that we have developed right across the island but, but Fine Gael will go on that record of full employment from having okay. had unemployment of 15% to full employment and so many other things Jennifer, but we just, will use just in a stable predictable way Going back to what your deputy leader Simon Coveney said to me here yesterday he talked at length about the need for renewal within the party well there's no better way, is there, to set that in motion than to get a fresh mandate from the people at election time? There's a new leader of the party. There are local and European elections where we have so many new candidates competing to try to represent Fine Gael at council level, at European level, and there will be a general election within 12 months. So that there we will be, we will are, are engaging with the people constantly and there will be a general election. There's no question about that, but it'll be at the right time at the end of the lifetime of this government in a stable and predictable way and not because the Sinn Féin press office thinks that it's a good idea. We'll do so in the same stable, predictable way that we have always done, that we have always done, which has been a hallmark of the stability of our democracy which you know what whatever Sinn Féin view Sinn Féin's view of democracy is and let's face it they're supporting Nicaraguan dictators they're slightly supportive of the European Union Mary Lou Macdonald just saying last week we'll support the European Union when it's when its policies are right for Ireland so again slightly European slightly democratic, slightly constitutional but we will be stable and predictable and serious about our constitutional democracy which we have hard won and hard protected. What about that charge uh, that McCarthy made about Simon Harris and housing? Pierce Doherty made the point last week as well that Simon Harris hasn't really spoken about housing. I think he might have mentioned that it is an issue that he's very conscious of but he hasn't addressed it in the time since he's been elected leader. Well, they are so welcome to come to the Fine Gael Ordesh, which is this weekend, where we will have thousands of members there debating all of the issues facing this country, housing chief among them, because it's one of the biggest challenges facing this state. There's no question about that. So come and see the policy debates, see the level of detail, see the, see the internal criticism in Fine Gael. See members standing up and Are you inviting Matt people. Carthy to your Ordesh? Ah, sure. Why not, Matt? Why not come Matt, and will see you go? what a real democratic party looks like? See what it's like to be challenged from within. See what it's like to have members standing stand up and criticise you in public. See what it's like to have a party that responds to internal criticism and not try to okay. put manners on its own people. All right, Matt, you'll hardly go, will you? Well, I, I, I always like the opportunity to go to Galway, but I'll have to give it a miss this weekend. This is clearly Jennifer's attempt to throw as many different balls in the air to try and disguise the fact that this is a government that's simply trying to limp on. We've had the head of the government resigning. We've had the deputy leader of the government party resigning. We're about to anoint somebody who has been eight years at Cabinet. It is just more of the same at a time when people are clearly demanding change. The proposition that's in front of us now is that we will have the third Taoiseach in a, in, within four years. That that Taoiseach will come from the party that came third in the general election, of which a third of its representatives at least have indicated that they're not going to present themselves to the public when the opportunity arises to be held accountable. I won't take lectures from that party in terms of democracy because one thing Sinn Féin are never afraid of is facing the people. And putting our alternative um, propositions in terms of housing, in terms of addressing the crises in health, in terms of addressing okay. the real life Matt, issues that Matt, people are Matt, facing can I ask with you the cost here? of living crisis. Is, We're willing okay. to point that to the people. The question needs to be asked why Fine Gael are All afraid right. of Is the real stuff. fear here though, Matt, that the reboot might work? That Simon Harris could re-energise Fine Gael, rebuild the links with business, with farmers, on law and order, on bread and butter issues and with the poll softening for, Fine, for Sinn Féin in recent times. I mean, the worry for you has to be that Fine Gael goes out out and finds its mojo. 
that's far from our worry. What we are worried about is another year of this government remaining in place because we know what that means in reality. It means house prices continuing to rise. It means rents continue to go out of control. It means homelessness levels um, continue to peak month on month. It means waiting lists within our health services. It means a government that this week increased the cost of petrol and diesel when people are already struggling. It means putting businesses in my community and a border community out of business because of the decisions that this government are making. I want this government out because I think it's a bad government. It's not addressing the real life concerns and issues facing the people I represent and I want to give those people an opportunity to pass judgment in the first instance on this government. I think those parties and independents that have supported this government should put themselves forward and allow them to decide whether or not they actually want another Fine Gael Taoiseach continuing the failed policies or whether they're willing to give change a chance. It's, it sounds like a reasonable question, Jennifer, to put to the electorate as they're asked to accept a third Taoiseach in one Dáil term. It's uh, as you know, Claire. The Tish Dock is elected by the Dáil, and we have periods of change. We've had uh, co- coalition um, uh, confidence and supply government. We have a three-party coalition government that has worked extremely well, not just through the challenge of COVID, but through the challenge of the Ukraine, the, the Russian aggression uh, and invasion of Ukraine, and what that did to energy prices. The only thing I'm interested in is serving the public. The only thing that Pitt and Gale are interested in is serving the public and continuing to deliver stability through those different challenges. There is a general Where election. Where is the stability North. with all of these? First, resignations first, because if you were delivering first, more of the things that your supporters believe in there'd be hunger and enthusiasm for the job at the top instead of this mass resignation that we've seen but there's but Fine Gael TDs have been there for a very long time there are people resigning who have been there for 40 years like Richard Root and others who have given the last 15 years Is of that their not careers McCarthy's people point? are allowed people are allowed to change but what I'm saying to you is that there are contested conventions right across this country for local election positions, for European election positions, for general election positions. There is a hunger and renewal within Fine Gael, which is a natural thing to happen. I'm part of that, Simon Harris is part of that, Neil Richmond, Pete, Peter Burke all of us want to work to serve the people of Ireland and want to work hard to do that. There are local and European elections coming up in eight weeks, seven or eight weeks, very very soon, which are crucial elections, should never be disregarded you know, as, as unimportant. These are cru- we're actually in an election cycle. You've had a change of leadership in Fine Gael that has happened very efficiently. Simon Harris is going to speak to uh, its Fine Gael membership and, and, and hopefully anybody else who wants to listen in at the Fine Gael Ordesh at the weekend. He will be, hope, be elected, I hope, Taoiseach, by, on, on Tuesday in the Dáil by the members of the Oireachtas, which is the constitutionally proper way to do things. And then we would get get going back to work straight away with, 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 with the work of government in a, in a stable coalition democracy okay. and there will be a general election within 12 months and Fine Gael, as every other go- government party will stand on their record and talk to the people in an mm. honest and direct okay. way about what the real challenges for Ireland are. Matt, Matt, let's look at this from another perspective because your party's in a different kind of coalition in Northern Ireland but by your logic, if the new DUP leader decided in the morning to replace Emma Little Pengelly Northern Ireland would be plunged into fresh assembly elections because you would be demanding an election at that point too. No, well, there's particular arrangements in the north, as you know, in terms of how the executive works. It's a mandatory coalition. Um, and as you know, Emma Little Pengelly didn't even run for the as- assembly, but people voted for the parties knowing that on the strength of their basis, they would be part of the executive. The people kicked Fine Gael out of government five years ago. They returned as the third largest party. They came together alongside Fianna, um, Fianna Fáil in order to keep Sinn Féin out of government. And what they have proven in the time since is that they are out of touch and that they are unable unable to deliver on the issues that require and what's the proof of that the proof is on the greatest crisis facing our society at the moment that is the housing crisis on every single metric things have gotten worse every year that this government are in power and that is why I am saying to all of those people because Simon Harris has been appointed uh, and elected as leader of Fine Gael and fair dues to him for that but he hasn't yet been elected as Taoiseach and every single member of the Dáil as Jennifer has said will have a vote next Tuesday and I am saying to those members of Fianna Fáil, to those members of the Green Party and particularly to those independent TDs that they should each allow their constituents and the people to pass judgment on this government by refusing to anoint Simon Harris as Taoiseach. Okay, Minister, are you concerned that you won't have enough independence in the bag to support Simon Harris? 
I think that we, you know, there's 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 an opportunity to vote for Taoiseach on Tuesday. Um, I think we will have see Simon Harris elected as Taoiseach on Tuesday. That's what's that's that important so that we can get on with the business of governing the country, of serving the people, of concentrating on the questions facing us, like the, the supports for small business, reigniting a real passion around law and order, making sure that we are supporting this country to the changes that are coming up through the challenges in Europe, making sure that we are firmly pro-European and not slightly European as as. Sinn Féin seems to be at the moment. All right, well, you listen, cannot we'll... be certain what you're going to get with Sinn Féin. Okay, we'll go, to the, we'll go to the people and let the, the people decide what they want to get. All right, the thank ones. you both for joining us. Matt Carthy from Sinn Féin and uh, Minister of State Jennifer Carroll McNeil from Fine Gael. Coming up next, the farm. 